Hey, welcome to Planet Hex Review Time. I am Andrew Horn. Today I'm going to talk about Doctor Who, Revolution of the Daleks, the New Year's Day special episode starring Jodie Whittaker as the Doctor and a whole host of new Daleks. Okay, I've seen a lot of um, reviews online giving a negative spin on this episode. I've seen a fair few giving a positive spin on this episode. I fall into the latter camp. This was a very solid special. It's about five minutes too long for me, just a little bit, um, which let the, the pacing down a little bit, but it had a lot going for it. There was the return of Jack. Oh, by the way, spoilers if you haven't seen this. If you've not seen this episode, go and watch it. It's on iPlayer. Okay. So, yeah, Jack comes back. His return is pretty fun. There's a little bit of banter between him and the Doctor, which is reminiscent of when Jack showed up at the end of Series 3 of the New Era of Doctor Who back in Utopia. I think it was Utopia, where he clicks onto the outside of the TARDIS. A um, bit reminiscent of that. The escape through the uh, space jail is awesome. Um, I like the whole the, the beginning with the, the Doctor counting off the days in the space jail. Although it was a little bit longer, a little bit too long. I think that could have been shaved down a little bit to get those extra five minutes off it. But anyway, once she's back on Earth, um, the Doctor meets up with her companions who have been waiting for her entire ten months uh, for her to return. Now, a lot of this stuff with the companions was really nicely handled. Of course, Bradley Walsh and Tosin Cole leave, on, leave during this episode. Their characters see their exit. Now, some of that felt a little bit laboured, just a little bit, tiny bit laboured, but the... Uh, the lengthy conversations with Tessie Cole's character, just sat alone in the TARDIS with the Doctor, were wonderful. Those were an excellent send-off for the character. Now, referring to the Doctor herself, a lot of people have an issue with Jodie Whittaker. I think she's excellent. I think she's an excellent actor. And in this episode, I finally felt like the Doctor got more of a personality of her own. Um, with the previous series, there seemed to be a tendency for the Doctor to be going through sort of a a greatest hits package of um, sayings and quirks. But in this episode, I think she find she found more of a, a, solid, a solid character for this iteration of the Doctor. Of course, with the happenings of the Timeless Child, um, everything the Doctor knows about herself has changed. So I think that in itself is bringing out more of a, a, a solid, slightly edgier, um, version of the Doctor, which is great to see. It's really exciting to see. And I do hope that she's got at least one more series in it because I think this Doctor is, you know, there's a lot going for this Doctor. Um, I'm not sure about the TARDIS because I'm old fashioned. I like a lot of the other TARDISes. Uh, personally, my, my favourite would be the Remembrance of the Daleks um, TARDIS from my first story I ever saw, the Sylvester McCoy and Sophie Aldred story, Remembrance of the Daleks. But speaking of which, there are echoes of Remembrance of the Daleks in this new special, um, in that there do wind up being two factions of Daleks warring against each other. Now this is cool, it makes for some very, very exciting visuals. It's something that the, um, the more modern fans of Doctor Who may not have witnessed all that much before. I mean, there's been lots of Dalek battles in, this, in, in the new era since it came back in 2005. Can we call it new anymore? It's 15, 16 years ago now. Crikey. Um, the wilderness years seem a long way off, don't they? But yeah, um, it's visually very cool. There's some nice nods to certain political figures in there, having the mick taken out of them, which is always good. Um, there's some really cool um, character moments throughout it. What I did notice about this, this special, Revolution of the Darks, it is particularly cinematic. It is beautifully made, a really beautifully made piece of TV. Uh, excellent piece of genre TV, which is, I'm sure will is an, a fine example of what a great export Doctor Who is. Still now, has been in the past, it is now, and I'm sure it will continue to be in the future. On the whole, I would give Revolution of the Daleks a solid 85 out of 100. Could have been a little shorter, you've got that score further up. But on the whole, I loved it. It's wonderful to have the Doctor back and a bit more edgy, a bit more direct in her approach. Welcome back, Doctor. We missed you.